Alright, I'm back with another Destiny video, and yeah, this is a big one because Bungie finally dropped the trailer for Season of the Chosen, which was indeed the uh, data mine name that we heard several months ago, uh, and they confirmed that it will be uh, focused on the Cabal, specifically, I'm going to pronounce it Cadel, just from now on, I think that's how you pronounce it, Cadel, who is Callus' daughter who has come to the system because her Cabal are under attack from Zebu Arath and her Wrathborn shenanigans and the uh, pyramids are kind of a threat to everybody and are deleting worlds that Cabal exist on. <laughs> so that's not great for her either. Um, the premise of the season is that she tries to start an alliance with us, um, kind of, you know, communicating to Zavala. There's a cool little shot of uh, Crow in his non-spider gear um, that we see briefly in the trailer, so he's a pivotal part of the conversation now, it seems. The problem is, uh, Cato wants loyal, not just like a partnership, but she wants loyalty from Zavala, and asks him to bow, and I mean, obviously, Zavala's not going to do that, so he says no, and surprise, we're at war with the Cabal again. Um, so that's kind of the setup for the season, and we'll see what this kind of unfolds as over time. Um, I think it's going to be kind of like an ongoing military campaign. Like it's going to be kind of structured that way. Um, the reason being is that the new activities are called battlegrounds. Uh, they are not the six man activity we were hoping for, but they're also not just new Wrathborn hunts. <laughs> so that's good. There are uh, three man activities that take, I think there's four of them that take place on different planets. And I think they're just different, you know, uh, siege fronts in, in the war on the Cabal. Um, the trailer showed off some, kind of unique mechanics like lights in the sky and there's one shot of a guardian holding a cabal shield so i don't know what that's about um but it's it's probably more than just your typical wave clear stuff if i had to guess but i guess we'll see um it's also going to be around you know till the rest of the year because seasonal activities don't go away now uh, i think the best way to process all of this is i'm going to bring up the season uh roadmap that has just gone out to kind of see everything i can cover in some sort of order um, all right, so uh, cover the battlegrounds and this this helm location is launching right when the new season launches and don't really know what to make of that. It talks about um, how we're using that as a kind of staging ground for the battle and that we are trying to claim the quote hammer of proving. My guess is that this will be like the you know thing you upgrade this season like you'll earn currency and you'll upgrade nodes that help you in some way in battlegrounds. Uh, for story-wise, my guess is that the Hammer of Proving is some sort of Cabal ritual thing, and if we don't kneel to Keitel, we have to like beat her in combat for, and it literally says for, quote, an honorable victory, and then then my guess is maybe we can ally with them to take on Zebu Arath and the Pyramids in future seasons. So while we will be fighting the Cabal this season, I think the storyline of this should probably resolve itself um, once we kind of best her and prove ourselves to her and stuff like that. So that's my guess for that. Uh, right away, the Devil Slayer and Fallen Saber Strikes are opening. We don't know if those are going to be kind of integrated into the story or not. They are both obviously uh, Fallen based strikes and we didn't really see anything about the Fallen at all this season um, in any of the preview materials. So I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Like when, when, uh, Omnigal strike came back. It wasn't Omnigal. They kind of they rewrote that whole strike with a new story. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to do that here, but that would obviously be preferable and be kind of weird if they didn't do that. Uh, and then something I forgot about completely: stasis uh, aspect quests. They did say that we we're going to get more um, stasis aspects in the future. I don't know how many this is going to be. I would assume at least one for each class. This is some sort of ice knife that this person is holding. So we'll we'll see what's going on there. I hope that these quests are a little more interesting than they were previously, where it's just, you know, kill, <laughs> do these like really long checklist chains of things. Um, that is what I'm hoping we do not get again, and I'm hoping they're more interesting than that. And then we have Trials, we've already seen the new Trials armor, and then a week later the third Battleground will be added, and then a week later the fourth Battleground will be added. Um, I can't pinpoint all the locations of these, I think the Moon, uh, EDZ, Nessus, I'm not sure what else. Um, the good news is that, well, there's a big gap between February 23rd and March 23rd, so there might be uh, some secret things in there. 
one thing that is listed on the season page but not on uh, this is a redacted uh, Tex Mechanica quest for some new Tex Mechanica exotics, so that's cool. And um, then we will get the Proving Ground Strike, which is actually a new strike, uh, which some people were saying might not happen. We did lose seven strikes due to sun setting, and now they're slowly trying to add these back. Um, this Proving Ground Strike, I assume, will be integrated into the story somehow, and it, supposedly it takes place on like a moving tank, which is pretty cool. So I'm, I'm curious to see the mechanics of that. Season pass, past players get it a week early. So that's a thing. Don't really know why there. Uh, and then finally, uh, Guardian Games is coming back this season, and I am willing to bet that we are going to see... Um, the return of not just Air Apparent, but probably its Catalyst too, because we've gotten uh, some art and stuff that suggests a Catalyst for that is coming. That same art suggested a Leviathan's Breath Catalyst was coming, and sure enough, here we are. Um, and then the closing ceremony is the last part of this. Don't quite know what that entails. It's like a three-day thing, so maybe there's some final rush event to see who can earn the world's tiniest statue there. Um, and yeah, it, the rest of the stuff is just kind of things we can glimpse from the actual trailer itself. There was a good number of weapons featured. The There's an exotic bow that shoots multi-arrows at multi-targets. Um, that is like the, the one in the season pass, so that'll have a catalyst with it too, I assume. Uh, we saw the armor, which is seems to be kind of like Incan Aztec expired, and yet not great looking. The general consensus seems to be that people don't really like it. Um, this whole season kind of has like a, a bit of an Aztec vibe with Keitel's name, um, the kind of ornamentation of her and her troops. So it's it's kind of shifting from Roman to a different type of warrior. So that's interesting, but that doesn't, doesn't really translate it into uh, the Guardian armor that we've seen so far looking good, except for the Trials armor, which I think might be somewhat inspired by that, but the Trials armor from what we've seen looks really good and like the bow looks really good and that seems like that's um kind of in the same style vein and they showed a couple uh season pass weapons in the trailer and on the page that look pretty interesting and we don't know they said there's 25 total exotic legendary and ritual weapons coming but that also includes reprised weapons so i'm i'm assuming that includes stuff like the moon ones they've already announced and then we already know that they're adding six new weapons to the playlist to each, at least one ritual weapon. So in the end, I'm not I'm not exactly sure how this stacks up with um, all the Season of Dawn stuff that's being sunset. It seems like it could almost be equivalent, but probably not quite. And I don't know if anything will <laughs> make the pain of Breach Light um, disappearing uh, go away. They also showed a new Trials hand cannon in one of the scenes briefly. And I don't know if that'll be the only new Trials weapon or if there'll be like a couple uh, in addition to the armor sets. And yeah, it's a lot to kind of sort through, but I am certainly curious to see how this goes. Um, Keitel coming is is pretty cool. I really like her design and her voice work. And um, I'm, I'm hoping that the, the point of the season is to kind of <laughs> make a truce with her so she can be kind of an ally, like a Mithrax style ally. Um, she seems to be at least somewhat reasonable because she didn't just come in, you know, guns blazing. Um, one thing that is not apparently the case is, or is being kept a huge secret, is what is going on with Leviathan. It's it's not, I mean, officially coming back at all, even though there were kind of hints about, um, you know, the designs of it and stuff being here. We are not heading back to Leviathan for any of the battlegrounds or the new strike or anything like that, so that is not being unvaulted, apparently. There are some weird glimpses of, of things in the trailers that only show up for a second. There's what appears to be like a giant Screeb that shows up for like a split second, uh, and that's obviously a Scorn enemy. And then Osiris says something about how there's no light somewhere, and it, it's a shot of what appears to be a large Cabal ship in space with like a purple glow behind it. Some are interpreting that as maybe that's, you know, something with Leviathan. I think it would be strange to get through this whole season and then not have anything having to do with Leviathan actually be here, um, given that Leviathan's disappearance and Callus disappearing with it is kind of a big deal, and this is Callus's daughter, so that sure seems like, you know, we should have <laughs> something, uh, you know, some exploration of, of that going on here. Um, and then I assume that the following season will probably be when we start 
maybe fighting Zivu or Wrath directly as we head toward the Witch Queen, and maybe the Cabal will be at our side, and maybe you know Mithrax will be too, and then we're forming the you know Avengers of the Destiny universe to take on uh, these Hive Gods and all their you know shenanigans. So I'm excited by this. I'm it's very hard to not excite me with new <laughs> Destiny trailers and info dumps, so that's not really saying much, but. Um, if the worst thing you can say about this reveal is like some of the armor is ugly, I don't know. It, you know, you could do worse. Uh, we'll see how this all works in practice. See how the new activities are. I hope they're fun um, mechanically and, you know, as three man as opposed to six man. Um, but yeah, I think there's, I'm going to see if anything happens at reset today. I don't know if we'll get a new cutscene or anything like that. Uh, by the time you watch this, it may already be after reset and something may have happened. Or not happen because it's Iron Banner week and nothing really happens and we just got all this info today. So I guess we'll see. But uh, for now, we'll just, you know, wait anything that could happen in-game. And I'm sure Bungie will start dropping more, um, some some teasers. that We might get some lore. I think we, we'll get a press kit for more photos and stuff like that to explore. Um, but yeah, until then, just stay tuned. And thanks for watching my initial thoughts here just uh, a little while after this went live here. And I will see you guys soon. Wait, Evie? Did you have to make your cameo? She's been here the whole time. She didn't know. <laughs> okay. I think she saw herself on the video. All right. Take care, guys. I will see you later.